The word of God is a tool in the hands of the Holy Spirit. Why this topic today? Because many people are so discouraged. And their faith gets stuck somewhere. And they're asking one big question. Because they want to use physical features to do God's work. Or to acquire faith. Listen. Prayer is a communication between you and your God. When you say, let us pray, you are talking to God directly. But there is a way you want to call somebody in London on phone. You must have the handset. You must have the telephone number. And you must load on an airtime. If any of this is not there. Even if you know the number and there is no air time. It's like you're praying with no faith. To God be the glory. This was the first question. When Christ Jesus our master was coming into the world. This was the first question. I'm reading 129 of Luke. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. <laughs> Nana wazo kula musoko wekuli Au malaika na mkamba nti Toti ya maniamu Kupangu wala mechisa ili katonda Elalaba Oli walumuto Oli zalomano wabulenzi Oli mutumeri nya yesu Oyali wangukulu Ali ichima mwana woyo Ali wakulu enyo Elamu kama katonda Ali muwe ntima ya Dawudi jajawe Elamu nafuga nge nyumba ya Yakobo Emirembe ne emirembe here comes the question. The question you ask to yourself. The moment you start a project. The moment you look at your vision. These are the questions you ask. And the major is this one. Verse 34. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be since I do not know a man? You dream that you have opened up a very big shop. Since childhood, it is your dream to go abroad. But the first question and the most pressing question in your life, how will it be since I don't have money? 
You dream that you have opened up a very big shop in the city. And customers are flocking in. How will it be? Since I do not have capital. I don't have rich people. Right, left, my brother, my sister, they are all poor. How will this be? What was the answer of the angel? This is the answer to you today. Verse 35. And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed Elizabeth's your relative has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. For with God nothing will be impossible. Ne malaika nadamu, namu gamba nti, omwa ya mtu kufali kujira, nama niko ya liwa gula nyo, gali kusikiriza, ele chachiri zari buwa, chachiri fachi itu kwa chitu kufu, omwa na wakatonda, laba, Elizabeth mukanda wo, ele ya lirubuto, nwa mwa na wakulenzi mbukate buwe, unabwe mwezi kwa guwa mkaga, ea iti wangwa mkumba, Kuhanga, tewali chikambe chifeli katonda, echini kuluwa maji. Look. Lava. Yo, sister Elizabeth. Muganda was a veti. Who was called barren. Ea iti wango mugumba. Who could not conceive. Ngataso wala kufuna lubuto. Now she is pregnant. Kakana li lubuto. What do you want to say? Chicho ya galo gamba. Listen proper. Uliri zabulu unji. Verse 36. Now indeed Elizabeth's your relative has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. For with God nothing will be impossible. Lava, Elizabeth's mkanda wo, ila ya lubu choro wa mwana wabulezi mkukate buwe. Kuna kwe mwezi kuwa gwa mkaga, ea iti kwa angwa mkumba. Kubanga, tewali shikambo ya chifeli katonda, ya chili kuluwa manye. Why? Wachi. Because the word of God. Kubanga, ea chikambo cha katonda. Is a tool. Chiko ze sewa. In the hands of the Holy Spirit. Mumi kono jomo yomu tukufu. The Holy Spirit. Omo yomu tukufu. Is a force. Jemanyi. Of which God is behind. Ateka tonda. Alima vega weria nyeryo. When God said. Katonda wa ya yogera. Let there be light. Na gamba wali wali wali. Wawewe chitanga ala. The Holy Spirit. Omo yo mtukufu. The power of the Holy Ghost. Ama nyagomo yo mtukufu. Took light. Gatu wale chitanga ala. And put it over there. Nega chiteka wa wali. And hold it up to today. Let there be stars. The Holy Ghost. Manufactured the stars. And put it there where the word of God wanted the stars to be. There in the space. Nobody holding them. But again, the power of the Holy Ghost. That force of God. Is the one holding those stars. Let there be a moon. The moon was put there by the Holy Ghost. It is being held by the Holy Ghost. It has no light of itself. It gets the light from the sun. And it brings the light to 
the earth. How do you know? Not necessarily that you have money that you have business. You may not have money. Maybe God will put you there like a moon. And you get money from somewhere. And you do your business. You can use that and say, Oh Lord, make me like a moon. Establish me somewhere. And you hold me fast. Give me capital. Let me work. The moon always gives us light, but it doesn't have its own light. It gets the light from the sun. Why do you bother so much? Yet the stars, they don't have the light of their own. They all get the light from the sun. Why should you bother? But because the word of God is a tool in the hands of the Holy Spirit. When God said, let there be light, the Holy Spirit manufactured light, put it there up to today. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and the void and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. <laughs> Chali kunguru kubuziba. Omwe kwa katonda, nekumamina kunguru kumazi. Katonda na yo geranti, wabia wabu tanga afu, ne wabia wabu tanga afu. Katonda na yo wabu tanga afu bulunji. Katonda na yo wula, wakati wabu tanga afu, nechizikiza. When God said, let there be light. Katonda wa ya gamba, antu wali wawewe chitanga. The Holy Spirit. Omwe yo mtu kufu. Took light. Hold it over there. And God saw it. And it was good. So to your case. Why you take time to believe. It is because you imagine. Pastor has said. Be healed. Distance is not a barrier. The Holy Spirit is around you where you are. Once I speak the word of God, be healed in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit will convey the healing with the power of God and they come and reach you there and do what the word I have spoken in the name of Jesus what it was and what it is supposed to do so that is why you must have faith don't think that it is just done like that. Beheaded. Amen. No, sir. The disciples knew Jesus. And they knew the Holy Spirit. He told them. Don't leave Jerusalem. Until I send unto you the promise of the Father. 
My friend, these are the many questions people ask to why I pray and it is not done the way I wanted it to be. Why I pray, this is like this is like that. No, don't complain a lot. You must delay in Jerusalem. Those, those people you see with the miracle, they delayed somewhere in Jerusalem uh, to receive the promise of the Father. <coughs> it did not just come, hey, no way, sir. There must be the Holy Spirit who conveyed that healing to you. You must have a handset to call so and so, and you must have the telephone number. And you should load the airtime. That is faith. Load the airtime. Load the airtime. Before we speak, load the airtime. Yeah, you want to hear your message from God? Lord, load the airtime. The caller has airtime. The, the, the one they are calling has airtime. Oh, I'm reading Acts of Apostles. Uh, chapter 1, verse 4. And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You have heard from me. For John to baptize with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit, not many days from now. <laughs> Neva lindirire okusubiza kwa chitawe kuba ulira jali kubanga yokana yabachizana amazi na yamwe muri batisibwa no moyo mutukufu munna kusinyinji verse 8 but you, you shall receive power when the holy spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth na yamwe we mwamanyi Omoya mchukufu bali mara kuja kumwe namwe munabanga bajulirwa abange mu Yerusalem ne mu Yuda yabonna ne mu Samaria nokutusa ku nkomero yensi Now when man of God say in the mad name of Jesus Christ Kati omusajja wakatonda bwagamba anti mulinye yamanye nyera Yesu Christ Be healed Wonyezebwa he may not necessarily touch you. The Holy Spirit will come and accomplish the mission. Will come and touch you. Remove the sickness or disease. The Holy Spirit will come, touch you, perform the miracle. The man of God will be just a witness of what Jesus said. And this sign is I'll follow those who believe. In my name, they shall lay hands on the sick, and the sick shall be healed. So the Man of God has not major participation. He is, is to witness the words of Christ Jesus as they are coming to pass. I'm reading 16 17 of Mark. And these signs will follow those who believe in my name. They will cast out demons, they will speak with the new tongues, they will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and the sick will recover. <laughs> The hands are not the one who's healing. 
It is the Holy Spirit healing. Have confidence where you are now. Distance is not a barrier. Once man of God stretches his hand, and the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Christ, be here. Acquire faith. The Holy Spirit will be right there to do the mission. Because it is not this man of God a healer. The Spirit of God is the healer. It is the Spirit who helps this man of God. So the word of God which the man of God speaks is a tool in the hands of the Holy Spirit. And listen to this. To God be the glory. Second Peter. Peter. Chapter 1, verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of scripture is of any private interpretation. For prophecy never came by the will of man, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Kubanga siwali chigambo cha banabbi echali chiletedwa mu kuagala kwa bantu na yaba bantu bayo gerange bya Felika Tonda nga bantu walibwa omoyo mutikufu na kakati holy men of god abantu bakatonda abatukufu this this bine byokwe wombeka we will never make you holy tebili kufula mutukufu they are holy men of God. They are made holy because of the Holy Spirit with them. Simple like that. Otherwise, everybody wants to be holy. Holy men of God spoke the word of God as they were being moved by the Holy Spirit. So they were made holy by the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, everybody wants to be holy. You can do all whatever to be holy. But the fruits of the Holy Spirit cannot be with you until when you have the Holy Spirit. Healing and all God's blessings are all a result of the Holy Spirit. Christ Jesus never came by himself. He was born. It all happened by the power of the Holy Ghost. He was moved by the Holy Ghost. So Jesus Christ has never been alone. And as he was moving like this, he was being moved by the power of the Holy Ghost and with the Holy Ghost. And that is how he knew the woman touched him. I'm reading Mark 5. He asked a question. Mm, who touched me? They said, mm, many people are around. Here and there. And now you're asking who touched me? He said, because I have felt power leaving me, there must be somebody touch me with faith. Have faith in God. Whichever place you are, you can touch Jesus. Are you sick today? Say to him, I believe. I touch you now. Immediately, the power of the Holy Ghost will
You can stretch your hand even now. Say, Pastor, I'm praying with you. <laughs> you find yourself. <laughs> Say, what is this? That the word of God you are speaking. The word of faith. Once it lands in Jesus. It is the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm reading 5. 529 and 30 of Mark. Immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up. 